Okay, I finally finished the project for a very small room. A lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, we had put a skim coat on the, all the walls. I wanted to put another coat, but she said it wasn't necessary. It was good enough. It's very difficult to uh, try to make an old wall look perfect, um, but it came out pretty good. Um, again, I said a all this trim was um, varnished. It uh, prime it, oil based primer. Finish coat is uh, Sherwin Williams Pro Classic High Gloss. It's a great product. I do all my trim. Uh, this is new trim. Uh, I paint all my trim at my shop. Put a couple coats on it. That way, when I get out here, um, I've developed a system where I uh, tape the bottom of the baseboard, put it up, put it down tight against, uh, you know, tile or whatever. And then um, <clears throat> after I nail it up to the wall, I come through past the holes and then put another coat of Sherwin Williams Pro Classic over the top. And looks like a million bucks. I love it. Did all the trim. We uh, there used to be toe kick underneath here. Um, I tried covering the toe kick up. It didn't really work. So we kind of came up with this idea to uh, just continue the trim underneath here, and it looks like. Uh, that's the way it was designed to do. It, uh, we had to change the profile, or I had to change the profile. I said we, I. Right here it transitioned. I had to cut it down about a half an inch to make it underneath the cupboards. And then I thought this transition came out excellent. It's like I planned it that way, but I didn't. So it came out pretty good. Um, you know, pretty good. She's, she's going to put, she hasn't got the window treatments yet, so finished product.